For the first time in their history, the St. Louis Blues are the Stanley Cup champions. Quite honestly, we need that boost. We're a non-playoff team for the first time in a number of years, and uh, it doesn't sit well with the, the St. Louis Blues organization and certainly its fan base. It's just awesome. It just changed my mindset. You know, not going to like a rebuild. It's just like through there, and it was just yeah, it was just pure excitement. It hasn't really hit me. Yeah, and I think when I put that jersey on, I hear the fans cheer cheer for me right now. It's it's going to be exciting. It's going to it's give me the chills as as I think about it. Some Blues fans have been demanding it for weeks. Coach Mike Yo is out of a job. Definitely got to instill some confidence back in this hockey team. It's a good hockey team. We've got good players, and we got to get moving in the right direction. So here we are, 52 years in with no Stanley Cups, and not one in the near future either. Something, something a little bit different, and I'm excited about it. Sevens are, I think, best games you can probably put yourself into. Every kid dreams of it, and I think everyone in there is excited. Think about it. It's May 7th. It's game seven. The game starts at 7 o'clock, and he wears number seven. And it would be an incredible story for the local kid to come up big in game seven. This is Thomas. Thomas shoots. That's the hot It's not every kid's dream and to do it tonight is really special especially with my whole family in the stands and uh, especially to do it for the fans and we deserve that game tonight and uh, hasn't really all hit me uh, what a roller coaster it's emotional for sure but it's probably the biggest goal I've ever scored in my career set of rules for two different teams, so I'm sure they'll lose some sleep tonight after looking at it, but.
And this is not just a hockey game. This is a franchise-defining civic pride moment. This is a game for every player who's ever worn the Blue Note sweater and every fan who has cheered for the franchise throughout the 52-year history. First time in 49 years, the St. Louis Blues are headed to the Stanley Cup final. I mean, I can't believe we're here. We are going to the Stanley Cup Finals. Do you think that they're going to win now? Oh, I know it. You know it? I know it. Why do you think that they're going to win? If I won my part, they're going to win their part. They support me, I support them. Probably the best team I ever played and uh, maybe one of the best teams. And people are like one family, you know. Uh, girls are together, wives are together, guys are together. And, you know, coaches are on the same page with the players. And it's unbelievable. Uh, it's unbelievable. Um, it's pretty, pretty surreal right now. Everyone's obviously very excited. We're enjoying the moment. Uh, this is something that we've worked for for a long time. It's a dream come true for everyone. and. Uh, just a heck of a team effort. Like I said, this team's relentless and this team's happy now, but we want to do something more special than this. We're going to put our friendships aside and, and any good feelings until after this thing's done. Uh, it's exciting to get it going. It's going uh, to be a lot of emotions tonight, but uh, yeah, I think today it's the end of the game and we got to be prepared. I can't believe this. This, this is happening. Yeah. It's, a, it's actually happening, what we dreamed of. And, I was close in the third, hit the post there, and uh, had a little talk in the locker room after, uh, and in between periods there before the OT, and uh, yeah, I just told him I needed one more. With one last shot snagged by Bennington, and the Bruins have forced a game seven by a score of five to one. part of this team right now. You dreamed this for so long and you know as a kid I just like that that feeling comes back to you like, just like what it means <laughs> to, to win this thing and I just I, I still I still can't believe this thing. It means the world to me to bring the Stanley Cup back to St. Louis being from St. Louis being a Blues fan all my life and to do it uh, to put this jersey on and be with the boys and I just can't wait to party with St. Louis, the community. We all came together, the city came together. We re this city, the Blues did it, and I'm so proud of these guys. Would you say that this is the greatest moment of your life? It is and probably will forever be for the rest of my life. For that moment, to, to have that moment is incredible and uh, very appreciative of being able to compete at this, in this league and with these guys and, uh, you know, very happy to be a Stanley Cup champion. You've been talking about this parade for years, Bob, and you're going to get your parade. Well, I'm going to get it, and there's a guy named O'Reilly this year. I gave him his sweater, the players their sweater when they come in numbers. And I told O'Reilly, I said, you know, I need a parade. And tonight he said, he got me one. What this means to you and to St. Louis? The coolest thing I've ever done. I can't believe the support from this crowd, the people here. That's all you want. It's not just the guys that laced them up and the style. Like it's every single person in the city that just kept sticking with us. Looking at here. When we were in last place, people still bought tickets, still came to watch us. And it's the people like that that 
We win this with. I'm a hometown hero, baby! Put your glasses up right now, St. Louis! Look around right now! We're Stanley Cup champs, baby! Woo! We know, uh, we know how much it means for you, so... Uh, I... <laughs> all these seven years, I promise you we're gonna bring it here, so we finally did it. The greatest blue of them all, Brett Hall! All right, hold on, he wants more. Someone take a picture of me. All right, we want to take a picture here. Come on! That's awesome. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Uh, best fans in the league, for sure. It's incredible to see a, a group of people like this just so happy. It makes me so happy. I love it. So this city deserves it. They've waited a long time. And, uh, it's just, I'm just trying to have a lot of fun today. To Layla Anderson. Layla, can you believe it? I mean, I never doubted the boys, so I can believe it. Could you share some champagne with us? All right, watch Braden Shea here. He is, here we go. Ah. But this year, I got my parade, and it was a heck of a parade. <laughs>